Proverbs 7 24-27. 24 Now, therefore, my sons, listen to me and pay attention to the words of my mouth. 25 Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways, do not stray into her paths. 26 For many are the victims she has brought to ruin, and numerous are all those slaughtered by her. 27 Her house is the way to Sheol, descending to the chambers of death. The Holy Word of God is repetitive, repeating what the Lord told His children at the beginning of earth creation in Genesis, to the final reward in Revelation. Instruction has always been, listen to obey God's avoid temptation and live, otherwise death and destruction are a promise. Genesis 2 16 The Lord God commanded the man, saying, From any tree of the garden you may freely eat, 17 But from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for on the day that you eat from it you will certainly die. Revelation 22 14 Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they will have the right to the tree of life, and may enter the city by the gates. 15 Outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral persons, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices lying. Disobeying God's word giving into temptation is the path that leads one to death, and the Holy Word of God declares this over and over. The word shoal appears in the Holy Word 64, if there is the word for hell, it is shoal in the Old Testament but what does it mean? The Hebrew definition says it a dark place a place where the dead go, the grave, the book of Job say, it where his parents rest and maggots eat their bodies. Job 17 13 If I hope for shoal is my home, I make my bed in the darkness, 14 If I call to the grave, you are my father, to the maggot, my mother and my sister, 15 Where then is my hope? And who looks at my hope? 16 Will it goes down with me to Shoal? Shall we together go down into the dust? The New Testament was not written in Hebrew so the word Shoal doesn't appear, but instead, the word hell appears but is hell just like Shoal a dark place. In the book of Revelation when Judgment Day comes, each person will reap or what they have sown in their lives, and be given life or hell. Not only does the Word of God call the ground under the earth a place of dead people but the oceans also. Revelation 20 12 And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. 13 And the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one of them according to their deeds. 14 Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. 15 And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. When we as God's children truly love God and truly cherish His word of love and wisdom, we will see, He really wants us to have everlasting life. Can someone disobey God and have everlasting life? I mean that is what the holy word of God says is the wages of sin is death, Romans 6 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. But people are currently dead, do they have some sense of knowing, do they praise God, where does one who wants to answer the questions relating to life, death, heaven, or hell, the Word of God of course. Psalm 115 17 The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. Ecclesiastes 9 5 For the living know that they will die, but the dead do not know anything, nor do they have a reward any longer, for their memory is forgotten. So the conclusion on the matter of life and death, or the rewards or heaven or hell, is to obey the Father God's and live or give in to temptation, be led astray, and be lost and consume the lake of fire, second death. God bless you all, the Lord Saviour Jesus loves you and so do I Samuel H. Psalm 49 12 But man in his splendour will not endure, he is like the animals that perish. 13 This is the way of those who are foolish, and of those after them who approve their words. Selah 14 Like sheep they sink down to shoal, death will be their shepherd, and the upright will rule over them in the morning, and their form shall be for shoal to consume so that they have no lofty home. 15 But God will redeem my soul from the power of shoal, for He will receive me. Selah